Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Dope King, and welcome to Dope King Divinity. This is a channel where we do channel messages, intuitive messages, car pulling, and shit like that. Um, this morning, I don't really have a channel message, but I kind of do, but I don't got that much time. But I feel like it's kind of imperative to let this shit be known real quick. Um, look, yo, for all my divine beings out there, niggas in the team dope collective this beautiful collective that we reside in um your judases and you know your karmas and shit they're planning and shit just thought i'd let y'all know i mean it's not a big deal nigga it's a reason why they gotta plan and plot and do all this funny shit bro <laughs> it's because you didn't do shit to these people and that like they're so delusional bro the shit don't work and they're still mad or you be trying to spare niggas and shit bro a lot of people think that you out of them that you're snitching on them that you're doing shit and you ain't doing shit but minding your business like you was doing the entire time uh it's just a guilty conscience plus these people don't only do dumb shit to you they do dumb shit period so they were going to get themselves caught up anyway these people are idiots if you have a platform or any platforms these people have been stalking you uh, watching all your moves watching everything that they can as if you put your whole life on social media and shit <laughs> on top of that um They're also like watching, plotting, and planning. <sighs> Trying to, uh, I was hearing like kidnappings, bro. I was hearing like just straight up, uh, you know, running up on you, shit like that. Nigga, these niggas ain't dumb, bro. <laughs> They're not fucking dumb, bro. Especially in my case, y'all niggas are not fucking dumb, bro. Uh, I think I let this be known. I was gonna keep it to myself, but fuck that. It's a good story for the collective. Now, it was somebody that i dealt with years years back a long time ago right before i had even like moved or whatever it, it was it was years back bro and these karmics <laughs> these karmics got this person to try to fuck me up in the recent time now I ended up, you know, catching on when this person first came back or whatever. And I cut that motherfucker off, right? Right. Okay. Now, this motherfucker, <laughs> as I told you, I had been hotel hopping for, uh, I've been hotel hopping for almost a year now, dog. Um, but this person just magically shows up at my hotel one day. I, I got off of work. I'm about to walk into my room. And then magically this motherfucker walks dead, dead right past my fucking face. Like, <laughs> and my stupid ass, I'm like, yo, <laughs> what's good? And shit like that. The motherfucker ain't say nothing. You know what I mean? It was what it was. Uh, I went out to my room like, okay, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I'm the type of person, bro. I don't give a fuck about disputes, bro. It is what it is. I let that shit go. It is what it is. Cause I know I do shit, bro. It is what the fuck it is now. Mind you, this person was there either to get me, you know what I mean? I don't know what it was. I think it might have been just God showing me that I'm heavily protected, bro. Long story short, bro, I went up, went up to my room, bro, took a shower, bro. I get out the shower, and, you know, while I'm in the shower, I'm like, nigga, I know damn well these motherfuckers not trying to set me up out this bitch, da da da, da whatever. Goddamn. I get out the shower, and I'm sitting there rolling my blunt. Next thing you know, all I hear is a bunch of commotion outside. Bangs on the same room that that motherfucker walked into. Long story short, once again, this motherfucker got they ass beat. I mean, I mean, jump. They got their ass fucked up. I don't know the reason. I don't know what transpired in order for that to happen. It was basically to say that karma hits everyone, bro. And it was just spirit showing me that I'm heavily protected. And anybody that comes near me on that fuck shit is going to get something done to him, bro. It ain't gonna be by me. I don't need to do anything. That's what these dumb motherfuckers don't understand either. When these people are sending out spells, sending out these death rituals, speaking this bad shit on your life like it's supposed to just happen in your life. Understand, bro, when you are a divine being, I'm a chosen one, my nigga. The energy goes right back to sender. The same person, it doesn't just stay in the atmosphere, bitch. If it ain't hit me, it's going to hit your ass. It ain't me doing shit back. I don't know how to do none of that shit that y'all do. I don't study none of that shit. I don't have to. 
A chosen one does not have to do any of this shit. All they got to do is live their life how they're supposed to live it. Follow God's path and nothing that is formed against them will prosper. And I, I literally have to say that because at this point where these motherfuckers are plotting and I understand why the plots are being done. Don't get me wrong. I already said this, when you're facing prison time, which these people are, or will be in the future, you know what I mean? Whatever the case, bro. But when you're when you're facing these type of things, bro, you tend to you you do whatever you fucking can. Now, due to the fact that I'm, you know, spitting this shit on this platform, all of that shit. As to which I know motherfuckers is watching. <sighs> Niggas, y'all can subscribe, bro. Like, give me some, like, yeah, you know I mean, fuck that. Donate, bitch. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> but anyways, nigga. It's just to say, bro, keep it pushing, but watch your back, bro. <sighs> Cause I can only speak for myself. These motherfuckers ain't dumb. Ain't nobody finna run up on me. Ain't nobody finna motherfucking kidnap me, bitch. You got me fuck like, bro, come on now. But what they will try to do, like I said, is play on your emotions. So what they, if you're like me, they're trying to figure out a way to pity party your ass back into that situation. So that they can smack dab, try that shit again. Because at a point in time, they, they had to understand like, shit, we need this motherfucker around us for it to work. It's not even necessarily that, bro. If you really like look back at the situation where y'all were trying shit, I had been caught y'all. Um, I also let it be known like, it was one night when I was at my Judas house and her man and her were talking and i know y'all remember this because i know y'all watching i know y'all remember this shit <laughs> and i was writing music because that's what i do i'm a beast nigga which people are already hating on anyway um yes yeah, so i was writing my music but we were also like watching something else that i was also you know speaking on like damn i could do that ah yeah i mean i do that which caused more jealousy to ensue <laughs> these motherfuckers went outside right and they were in the back talking i got up to smoke a cig and I went in the back thinking that shit was cool. Nigga, I heard before I opened the door, all I heard was, man, we just go get rich off this nigga. And then I opened the door and these niggas look shook than a bitch. So I just, you know, closed the door and went to the front to smoke my cig. Um, that was one amongst many giveaways. These people are retarded. They're dumb. They're on drugs, bro they're hearing voices and shit, bro. This, these are the demons attacking them, bro. The same ones they tried to send out to you are fucking them up right now. And they're just gonna fuck themselves up. So I would advise y'all to leave me the fuck alone. That's all I will say. That's all I will say. Because at the end of the day, whatever God has ordained is going to happen regardless. There's nothing that you can do about it. The fact that niggas is even still in my energy plotting and shit. Oh, yeah, I would also say, like, as an intuitive, bro, as an empath, as a reader, bro, you have to be at a certain level to read effectively and shit like that. That also means that you can pick up on energies, negative and positive, bro. If someone that is plotting on me is watching my shit, I know. I know it. It's not a, it's not a, oh, this person, no, nigga, I know. So at the end of the day, I don't know what the fuck is like, idiots. But I'm gonna leave that shit right there because um, I have to go soon. I have to go to work soon. So we're gonna get into this re and we're gonna do, you know, the, the same shit, collective um, re and collective message, what's going on currently for this, uh, you know, current situation what's going on today. All of that, what energies are we in? All of that shit. We gonna slide right into this bitch. But I thought I, I would just let that be known. Uh, that was something that I've been getting over the past couple of days. Like, these niggas are mad because you know the truth. Because you're, you know, speaking your truth. And they're mad that their part in the story. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't want you in the story anyway, bitch. I don't want you in my life. I never really considered you an intricate part of my life other than when I was unawakened. But as soon as I started to wake up, I knew that you were not meant to be there. Y'all were not meant to be there. And that's just that, bro. Instead of changing your life for the better, instead of doing better for yourself, instead of focusing on yourself, nah, nigga. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're going to try to fuck somebody else's life so we look like we're doing good in life. 
<laughs> because when you got a divine being that's showing, you know, the real with this life shit, it exposes a lot of people. Unknowingly at that, bro. Half of the shit that I exposed or that I knew, I don't know how the fuck I be knowing shit. It's God, bro. It's God, bro. People try to keep you in the dark about everything. And you still fucking know. Uh, as as I got away from these people, God um, delivered more to me, which I understand why he did that. Because if I was in a situation and he delivered those messages, then I probably would have probably would have beat the shit out of somebody. Bro. And you understand, like, y'all karmic motherfuckers ain't the only ones that can plot and do anything, bro. At the end of the day, you lost, nigga. Just take your L and <laughs> move the fuck on, bro. You keep trying to create L's for somebody who don't take L's, bro. And if we do take L's, we know how to send them bitches in the W's. <laughs> Dumbass niggas. But we're going to get right into this. Thank you, spare guys. Thank you, um, ancestors. Thank you, archangels. Thank you, God. Period. Please give me accurate messages to give to the collective this morning. What is the energy around the collective? Let's go. We early with this shit. We got the five of swords or the five of spades. Oops, sorry. That uh, represents discord, dishonor, a hollow victory. This is my op card, bro. You know what I mean? Deception, bullying, walking away. This is also the walking away card for me, but this is the op card, bro. So as I was just saying before I even fucking pull, you got ops in your energy, nigga. It's ops in your energy, bro. They're plotting, <laughs> which doesn't make sense because it doesn't matter. Fives also represent, dis I mean, disturbance. So yeah, people trying to disturb your peace. Don't let it happen, nigga. You already know what's going on. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, it could represent a blessing in disguise though. Um, and, or a negative and depressed person. So all the people are negative and depressed, bro. Your ops, they're just negative, bro. They're depressed people, bro. That's not your fucking fault, bro. Like people act like people don't go through shit. And just because a divine being gets over shit don't mean that they don't go through shit. Nine times out of 10, they went through shit worse than the shit that you went through, you dumb motherfucker. But in your mind, they couldn't have went through nothing because they're like me. No, bitch, you need, you need therapy, bro. One, two, three, four, when I said that. You need therapy. You need help. Real help, bro. Help that a divine being cannot give you. Because as soon as a divine being comes around you, then you start hating. That was the whole fucking... That was the whole problem. All y'all are idiots. Idiots. <laughs> idiots. Thank you. We gonna pull more on this fucking five of swords, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so hyped or whatever because um, I usually don't um, work this day, but... They looked out for a nigga by like making my schedule like this instead of working like days in a row. I get a little, you know, break this week. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> Ready to get this day over with so I can have an off day tomorrow. Lit. <laughs> More on the five of swords, please, spirit. Oh, yes, nigga. We coming out today. Fuck that, nigga. We have the eight and the nine the motherfucking cups, nigga. Stop fucking playing. Stop playing, bro. We got the eight and the nine of cups or the eight and the nine of hearts. Um, the eight of cups represents splitting up, emotional detachment, leaving love behind, making a hard choice or whatever. Um, it could represent an unexpected gift though and an invite to a party. So basically how I'm seeing that, um, even before I read this shit is that you might get invited somewhere by, by these ops nigga that they don't think that you know that they're ops and shit, even though you're speaking this shit, you don't. You don't put people out there. You don't got to say no names, bro. These people know who the fuck they are, bro. But these people still think that you're naive because they're fucking stupid. So at the end of the day, you might get an invite somewhere. Don't fucking go. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm pretty much introvert. So not even pretty much. That's what I do. I don't even like going out with other people and other energies, bro. So that shit dead if y'all thought that was going to work. I'm just... I'm just speaking for myself, bro, because we all are a part of this collective, bro. I don't exclude myself at all. You know what I mean? I know I got ops. And I know I got people plotting on me. It is what it is. It's been my whole life. People don't understand that when you've been through shit your whole life, your entire life, getting done dirty, getting plotted on this shit, bro, at some point, bro, it just ain't gonna happen no more, nigga. Period. Let's go. But yes, uh, this could also be the fact that you're splitting up and like you've emotionally detached from these ops, bro. Because ops are 
Ops are different than straight enemies, bro. Ops are people that act like they're cool with you, act like they're your friend, act like they love you, but then be plotting on you behind the scenes. That's an op. That's an op. You, that that saying, keep your your friends close and your enemies closer. That's what they live off of. I don't be around nobody that I ain't supposed to be around. <laughs> Period, bitch. That's that, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, next, nigga. We have the Nine of Cups, though, and the Nine of Cups represents uh, satisfaction, fulfillment, being alone but not lonely, uh, sensual pleasure, spiritual growth, all of that good ass shit. So basically what I'm saying or seeing from that is once you separated from these op ass motherfuckers, bro, you ended up, uh, well, yeah, once you split up from the ops, boom, boom, you resist. So why the fuck would you go back to that? Why would you go back to that? Nigga, you already happy now. It ain't, ain't no time for no rekindling. None of that shit, nigga. There was nothing to rekindle. After y'all made the decision, do what y'all did. Y'all, y'all marked that. But of course, they'll blame you because the, the shit ain't working. It works on other people, right? Idiots. People are fucking retarded. And they're going to keep being retarded. Like, that's that's the thing, bro. Because they're not focusing on themselves. Them, these niggas ain't growing spiritually. They're not growing at all. All they're doing is watching you. 16, 16, when I said that, all they're doing is watching you. Hoping for a demise that's never going to happen. Where they don't realize that your energy was bringing the abundance to their life. Or they may understand that. What they don't understand is they have they have the spirit of poverty and death on them. Which is why everything is dying around them. They are in denial of the fact that when you came around, you brought that divine, godly shit around them. Which gave them a pass on a lot of shit. And now that past is gone because y'all took advantage of what God brought to y'all life. And y'all ain't got to believe it. But y'all still gonna live it, bitches. Y'all still gonna live that shit. So it is what it is. But yes, basically, you separated from these ops. And uh, you now you're in, you know, your wish fulfillment. You wanted to grow spiritually. And you couldn't grow spiritually around these bitch-ass niggas. So that was, that's that. It's literally that.